I just found your new main. Here's how. I am going to discuss a list of things that you can decide whether or not will be beneficial to you and eventually you should have a small range of cubes that you should buy and along the way I will be giving my opinion for each category. Starting with magnets. No matter what you should get a magnetic cube as it will really help with your turning. But now ask yourself, do you need adjustable magnets? If you feel that magnet strength is important to you, then you should probably consider cubes with adjustable magnets like most GAN cubes and some other cubes like the WRM 2021 and X-Man Tornado version 2. If you don't really care about magnet strength, then cubes without adjustable magnets are better for you because they are likely to be cheaper, an example being the RS3M 2020. Next is tensioning. If you have very picky tensioning needs, then you should probably go for higher end cues with better tensioning systems. An example of this is the GES system in GAN cubes. But if this isn't much of an issue for you, then a screw-in system can be fine, like the Diantangian. Much like magnets, better tensioning settings often come with higher prices but sometimes you can get cheaper cubes with good tensioning systems like the X-Man Tornado as it has a lot of different tensioning settings at quite a low price. Next is a slightly smaller area of cube design that I am going to bunch up into one category and that is personal preference. If you prefer cubes with a frosted plastic then pretty much every cube fits this but if you prefer different types of textures maybe the GAN 12 or GAN 11 is for you as these can come with a range of different textures like UV and soft coating. I'm not sure how well you can see that. If you prefer primary internals in cubes then the GAN 11 and GAN 12 are a great option because they all have primary internals. Other good options are the WRM 2021 and Diane Tangian but most of the time I feel the internals aren't that important. Once again, this is all personal preference. If you do prefer black internals, then the X-Man Tornado is a great option. Also in this category is accessories. Generally, the more expensive cubes come with cube bags and display boxes, such as higher end Moyu cubes. This is from the WRM 2021. Less expensive cubes might only come with a screwdriver and a cube stand, like lower end Moyu cubes, such as the RS3M 2020. This came with this cube. And finally, we have price. I'm going to split this up into three subcategories, being cheap, mid-range, and expensive. Starting with cheap cubes, you have the RS3M 2020. If you are in this price range, then this is the only really good cube for you. I've made a full review of this cube, which you can see here. If you are in the mid-range category, at the lower end I would recommend the WRM 2021 as slightly cheaper but still very good. And then higher price, the X-Man Tornado. This cube is also very good. And then at the higher end you have GAN cubes, especially the GAN 11M Pro and GAN 12M Leap and GAN 12M Maglev. Both of these cubes are very good. This is last year's model and this is this year's model. You can see a comparison up there. If you already have a cube that is pretty good, then check out this video to make it amazing. And with that, if you enjoyed, then please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.